all. Dear John is filmed before a live studio audience. And then I saw this beautiful woman on the other side of the room. So I decided to take your advice and be more assertive. I took a deep breath. I walked all the way over to her, smiled, and asked her to dance. Oh, Good for you, Ralph. <laughs> what did she say? This is a fish store. <laughs> He's bound to change. After all, Valentine's Day is just around the corner. <laughs> I had twins on Valentine's Day. <laughs> I didn't know you had twins. Was it difficult? No, not really. I got them drunk first. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. Uh, y yes, dear, can I help you? Uh, English? Uh... Yeah, bah. <laughs> That's right. She's English. You are gorgeous. And I'm Kirk. <laughs> Why don't you come sit over here next to me? Are, are you here for the one-to-one -one club, dear? Do you speak any English? Oh. Huh. Ooh. This could be the start of a beautiful relationship. Oh, that sounds like Japanese. Hi, everybody. Sorry I'm late. My ex-wife stopped by for a cup of coffee and a fight. Oh, hello. I'm John. John, mm -hmm. I think that this woman is lost. Apparently, she only speaks Japanese. Oh, maybe I can help. Hey, John, back off. She's spoken for. <laughs> You expect her to buy that line? Oh, she says her name is Sachko. Everybody! Hi, Sachko! John, I'm really impressed. Well, when I was in the army, I was stationed in Japan. I speak a little Japanese. Actually, very little Japanese. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, slow down. English no kurasu wo sagashite imasu. Something about an English class, I think. Oh, oh, of course. Um, uh, there's a new class starting down the hall tonight. English for, um, recent immigrants. Uh, Otsuru Shimasho? Uh, whoa, 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 what did you say to her? I told her I'd take it to her class. <laughs> nice try, John. I saw her first. My dear? Ooh. This is almost too easy. <laughs> uh, mm. Momentito. Uh, John, do me a favor. How do I say uh, your place or mine? Wakai o Tokuski, Ototo Imasuka. Ototo Imasuka? After you, my little lotus blossom. <laughs> Prey 
eye on that poor, innocent boy. Don't worry. Right now, he's looking deep into her eyes and murmuring, I like little boys. Do you have a brother? <laughs> been to a Valentine's Day party since the fifth grade. This is great. <laughs> My husband and I used to have our own Valentine's party. <laughs> He'd dress up like Cupid, strip off all his clothing, and chase me around the apartment with a little bow and arrow. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like fun. Well, more so for me than the other guests. <laughs> Hey, remember getting those anonymous Valentine's cards when you were a kid? And you spend the rest of the week trying to figure out who had the crush on you? Oh, my, <laughs> yes. When I was a schoolgirl, I used to get one every year. Always the same message. I love you, I love you, I love you. I wish you'd come over and play. Oh, that's so sweet. Did you ever find out who sent them? No. But they did stop arriving the same year the headmaster was sent away. <laughs> oh! I got the sweetest Valentine's Day card today. Ooh, Ralph. Somebody special, Ralph? Somebody you haven't told us about, Ralph? Well, kind of. It's my veterinarian. <laughs> <laughs> I'll read it to you. Your doggie's love is pure and true. It's never, ever faltered. But your doggie loves some others, too, so have the sucker altered. <laughs> It's a lovely sentiment, Ralph. Hey, you know what's really great about this Valentine's Day party? Well, if you can't be with the people that you really care about, at least we're with each other. <laughs> uh, could I try that again? Well, it's all right, dear. We know what you meant. So you didn't, uh, didn't Kirk say he was coming over? Yeah, he and Sachko should be stopping by any minute. Kirk and Sachko? Uh-huh. He's been seeing her every night this week. What do you mean? They're dating? Uh -huh. Well, how could that be possible? She doesn't understand a word he says. What am I saying? That's the only reason it is possible. <laughs> Just how serious is this? Well, I don't know, but he says she's like no one else he's ever dated. Yeah. She doesn't have a 976 number. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, you guys. You remember Sachko, right? Hello again, Sachko. Hello. Guys, this has been the best week of my life. So you can imagine how good it's been for her. <laughs> right, my little cuttlefish? So, Sachko, how's the English coming? That good. <laughs> Sachko, why don't you go over to the table and get something to eat? Ah, oh, hi. <laughs> Hi, uh, guys. Could I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, sure. What? Uh, I know that this isn't an official group meeting, but uh, I have one question. Problem, dear. No, 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 not really. <laughs> Suchko and I are getting along great. It's just that, uh, well, I was wondering, do you think two people attempting to pursue a meaningful relationship at some point need to talk? <laughs> I'd say possible, yes. Damn it! I was afraid of that. Pursue a meaningful relationship. <clears throat> now, it's... It's none of my business, Kirk, but, um... You've only known this woman for a, a week, and you don't have five words in common. Now, what kind of a basis could you possibly have for a relationship? Well, it's hard to describe, Red. It's... Kind of a spiritual thing. <laughs> oh, oh, and do you believe after dinner when Sachko came out with a hot towel to wipe his hands and face? I'm surprised you didn't try to floss his teeth. <laughs> That's right, you missed that. You were in the kitchen. <laughs> 
right, I'm exaggerating, but not by much. She, no, I don't think you're being fair. Now, she wouldn't do any of those things if she, if she didn't truly care for him. If he truly cared for her, he wouldn't let her fawn on him that way. Right. Oh, it's obvious that he doesn't care a thing about her. He, he just loves having this obsequious love slave. It's a typical male fantasy. Now, wait a minute, I resent that. That's not my fantasy. Mine either. Oh. Well, all right, I apologize. No, I fantasize about a galley ship full of well-oiled Viking women. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that, right? Their naked limbs glistening as they hoist up the sail. I, I said, I said, thank you, Ralph. I'm sorry to be late, you guys, but Sachko insisted on taking a little walk on my back. Oh, that feels good. <clears throat> but sometimes I think that woman is too good to me. Oh, you and I agree on something. Ooh. What is that supposed to mean? We saw the way she waited on you hand and foot. The woman lives to make me happy. Who am I to disappoint her? Oh, come on, Kirk. How could you let her do those things? Wait a minute. You think I like all that stuff? <laughs> well, actually, I do, but that's beside the point. Well, what's the point? John, you should know you were there. The most important thing in a Japanese woman's life is to please her man. It's what they believe in. Who are we to judge? <laughs> Why don't we bring back idol worship and polygamy while we're at it? Oh, admit it, Kirk. You don't really care about this girl, do you? Is that what you think? You think I don't care about her? Huh? You think I don't love her? Then answer me this. How come I'm about to ask her to marry me? <laughs> you knocked her up? <laughs> Kirk, you can't ask her to marry you. You've only known her for a week. The, the whole idea is ridiculous. No, I don't know. I, I think there's something to be said for acting on impulse. I remember the first time I saw Bloom Laika. I, I got knots in my stomach. My skin broke out in hives. I got this searing pain behind my eyes. I knew then that was how I wanted to spend the rest of my life. <laughs> Thank you, Ralphie. But these people obviously don't understand romance. Kirk, as the leader of this group, it would be remiss of me not to point out the pitfalls of acting in this impetuous and reckless manner. Oh, I just realized if Kirk gets married, we may never see him again. I hope you both will be very happy. <laughs> oh, wait a minute now. Come on, Louise, if there's any purpose for us to meet every week here, it's to be able to give each other some sound advice. Oh, yeah, John's right. Kirk, if you go through with this, you're going to be making a gigantic mistake, and so will Sachko. Wait a minute, let me get this straight. You guys are giving me marital advice? <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I don't see too many golden anniversaries being celebrated in this room. Oh, well, now, Kirk, I, uh, I mean, it's, it's not as if, I mean, uh, you, you don't have to, uh, he makes a very good point, doesn't he? <laughs> It's, it's the very fact that all our marriages fell apart that makes us so concerned that you and Sachiko give yourself the best possible chance for happiness. Look, I appreciate your concern, but I've already made up my mind. You guys, you don't understand what this girl means to me. She's an island in a sea of despair. She's an oasis in the desert of my heart. She's a VIP lounge in the desolate airport of my soul. Boy, he sure can sling it, can't he? <laughs> well, I, I think now might be a good time to take a break. Five minutes. Yes, right, Louise. Thank you. Uh, uh, John, can I talk to you for a minute, privately? Okay, Kurt. But promise, no more metaphors. Wow. John, I got a major problem. 
Sachiko wants me to meet her parents. Well, none of us like to meet our future in-laws, but we all have to do it. No, that's not the thing. I need you to come along and translate for me. What? They don't speak any English. Well, neither did Sachiko when you first met her. You're getting along fine with her, aren't no, you? No, it's not the same thing. I don't know how far I'm gonna get blowing in her old man's ear. <laughs> Listen, Kirk, I really would rather not get involved. Well, John, listen to me. I, would I know how you look at me. Mr. Cool, able to deal with any situation, never at a loss for smart conversation. Am I right? More or less, yeah. yeah. Well, now, underneath this polished exterior, John, is a very frightened human being. This woman means a lot to me, John. I need your help. Well, I, I don't know, Kirk. John? I, I... If I have to get down on my knees, I will. Oh, come on, Kurt. No, I, 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 I... <laughs> Please, John. <laughs> John, come on. These are my good pants. Yes, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Well, listen, I'd really rather stay out of this, but um, as a last resort, when the time comes, if you still feel that you can't handle it, then uh, okay, I'll come along. Oh, great. Here's your coat. Come on, our parents are waiting for us. What? <laughs> with her. Oh, she's probably a little nervous, Kurt. Huh, well, she got to be nervous about it. I'm the one sitting on the hibachi here. Oh, no. <laughs> well, it's only natural. There's always a little nervousness involved when meeting the parents. Yeah, I wouldn't know. Nobody ever wanted me to meet their parents before. Uh -huh. John, what do you think this is, a bowling alley? Come on, Kurt. <laughs> this is traditional. Take your shoes off. Oh, all right. Oh, wow, isn't this something? Boy, look at this place, huh? Yeah, boy, it sure brings back memories. What, you been here before? <laughs> no, memories of when I was over there. Oh, yeah. Isn't this incredible? Outside, it's Flushing, Queens. You open a door and you're in Japan. Come on, what? Ah. Kirk. Uh, no, uh, Kirk. Ah, <laughs> uh, Kirk. <laughs> お父様、この方は科学のお友達のジョンさんです。ああ、ジョン。お父ちのスマです。はじめまして。よろしくお願いします。あいろん。カーク。はい。さあ、どうぞ。座りください。ありがとう。どうぞ。さあ、ちょっ
to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. Oh, Kirk. Are you sure this is the right time? I mean, you haven't even asked Sasha John, yet. John, don't you know anything? You gotta ask the parents first. It's a sign of respect. Watch, they're gonna love me for this. Uh, uh, Kirk, Kirk, I, I really don't John, think this is the right... Let her rip. Kerwa musumo to kekon shitai. Look at them, they're so happy, they're speechless. <laughs> They're probably talking about the wedding, making plans, you know. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Uh... I don't know. I guess he wants to talk about this wedding business now, but... That's what we're here for, isn't it? They're a very traditional family. Sachiko ga Kirk... He says they won't stand in the way of the marriage, but they won't give their approval either. Something about family honor. So, of course, Mrs. Yashimura has to kill herself. Okay. <laughs> what? The woman's gonna kill herself. <laughs> Suicide is a matter of honor in Japanese culture. He says this will assure her a place in heaven. Okay. Kirk! Hey, John, not everybody gets in there. Kirk! I have a feeling she's getting to the end of the song. We gotta get out of here. Not until I find out if she likes me. <laughs> Sayonara. もう行ったよ。信じたみたいね。この後たちどこで探してるんだろう。え、晩ご飯持ってこい。自分でやれ。I know what you're going through right now, Kurt. And believe me, I understand how much Sachiko meant to you. I know it must hurt like hell to have to lose Sachiko that way, but... Well, look, what I'm about to say is gonna sound like a cliché. But the truth is, in time, you're gonna forget all about Sachiko. And you see, now, that's the secret. Now, all you have to do is just give yourself a little... Ooh. Time. <laughs> Passions run high on L.A. Law. Fridays start with a heavenly mystery. Father Dowling's up to his white collar in crime when he baits a dangerous trap for the killer of a prostitute. Then when the syndicate took over, L.A.'s toughest cop got mad. When they murdered his partners, he decided to get even. George Peppard is the man against the mob. Mm -hmm.